Tennessee end of course uh, algebra one practice test question number 14 which function represents the data shown in the table now you could spend your entire life uh, trying to work out some function rule or you can look at the fact that this is oh yeah multiple choice um, the function itself acts as the machine the n value here is the input and this is the predicted output so what I'm going to do is plug in values of input into my each of my machines and see which one of my machines gives me the output I'm looking for so this is 3n plus 1 so I'm gonna do 3 and where the n is I'm always gonna put parentheses that'll make your life much easier later I'm gonna put in an input of this and it gives me four so this is looking good so far you wanna make sure that at least three inputs give you uh, the predicted output plug in 2, that gives me 7, but it's supposed to give me 11, so that doesn't meet my prediction, so that's out. Uh, G, I do 5, that gives me 8, but it's supposed to give me 4, so that's out. 6n minus 1, so I do 6, 1 minus 1, gives me 5, but it's supposed to give me 4, so that's out again. The 7 thing is looking good. This one works, I'm going to try it with 2, I'm just plugging in this 2 here, hoping for a predicted outcome of 11 oops and it works and then I'm gonna do 3 18 that's the predicted outcome you could continue down if you so felt like you desire to do that but generally uh, 3 is enough or 8 is enough if you're like an old 70s show kind of fan so there you go so my answer is J for number 14